Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday. Oops, it's Friday. It's Friday. Um, we're on day five at the end, and I've been getting some messages from some people who have already completed the cleanse who are at the end of day seven asking about what they should do when they are done the seven days. So I figured I'd just do a quick live here. It's Friday night, and I can't eat anything and we've already finished all of our food. I'm just gonna have my sleepy tea when I go to bed, so I don't have anything else really to do besides watch TV and think about snacking, so I'm not gonna do that. So here I am. Hope you guys are having a good Friday night. You're probably out enjoying yourselves. Um, yeah, so the question on Facebook from Tara was, she's done the cleanse, she's actually excited to keep going with it, so she's gonna take this to maybe day, I don't know how long she's gonna do it, but she said she wants to continue, at least put, do part of it, because she's been feeling so amazing. So I'm really happy to hear that. I hope you guys are having a similar experience with that as well, because I am. I usually feel amazing when I do this, and I just wanna keep going, and sometimes I go an extra two weeks, and then I just, I start feeling like I wanna eat normally again. So what I usually do is I stick to similar things, like, smoothies, I kind of keep that going, but then I'll introduce a little bit more solid food. I probably won't eat a really heavy um, animal protein meal. I probably won't go have a burger or anything deep fried or processed or anything really, you know, that could shock your system because you've kind of been away from that. So I would say at least a couple more days before you have some really heavy foods, keep drinking liquids, Start incorporating more solid vegetables for your meals. You don't have to puree anymore. If you want to keep doing that, you can. But have some vegetables, have some raw stuff, have a salad, see how you feel. This is a really good time to just experiment and see what foods you might be, what might be triggering for your gut or your energy. If you start eating something and then you feel really a bad energy slump, then that's a sign that maybe that's not a good food for you or you're reacting to it. Maybe you need to stay away from it. You know, you, when you eat something and you react to it, it can actually last, the symptoms can last up to, I think it's three or four days in your body. So that's why Monday and Tuesday we usually feel really tired and hungover and it can be just from your food. It doesn't have to be from alcohol. So Monday or Tuesday, people are a little sluggish to get back into the week because their weekend, they had such a bender. So... This will be a good sign is like, how is Monday for you next week? How is Tuesday? How you, how's your energy compared to usual? See how, you know, throwing your timing off. Like if you go to bed really late on Saturday, how, does it, how do you feel Sunday and Monday? So that's a really good thing for you to kind of notice on, Saturday, on Monday. Um, yeah, I would say stick away from any... I mean, it's hard to say go right back to what you were doing before. Just be more mindful of what you're eating. I would probably still stay away from sugar, um, any like serious amount of coffee in the morning, maybe stick to one to two cups still. And lemon water I would stick with if you can. Anything liquid diet, anything that's blended in the blender just gives your gut a chance to not have to digest anything. It's already pre-digested for you. So doing that, you will feel more energy because your body doesn't have to spend energy breaking down your food. So do that whenever you can. It's quick, it's easy, and it's really good for you. Um, when you do start eating food again, whatever you do choose, um, I would focus on chewing really well because what that does is mimic what a blender does, but it also gets all the salivary glands going and it tells your body the smells, the visual, in your mouth, the chewing, the act of chewing, tells your digestive system that food is coming. So the chewing aspect, if we rush through and eat whole pieces, we're not digesting it. Your body's gonna be like, what the heck's happening? So that's what can make you tired. So I know that going back to food and going back to your normal, like, oh, I want this plate of macaroni or whatever it is that you have been eating, um, sounds really exciting. But just remember that your stomach actually probably shrunk a little bit during this seven days, that's why some people are not feeling as hungry. You might wanna just limit your portions, start eating really slowly, chew your food, be mindful, try not to eat while you're at work if you can. Um, yeah, just stick to the healthy foods and you know, just live your life, enjoy, and just notice 
how you feel in your body and that can just be a sign for like what you may or may not continue to do or what you may have to eliminate because you may react. So I hope that was a good enough answer. And if you have any other questions, I hope I can cover them. Message in the Facebook group, comment on the video. If you have any other specific questions. Um, yeah, I hope you guys had a good Friday night. We'll see you on day six, which is tomorrow on Saturday. And then our final day. I know this might be the hardest two days because it's the end and it's the weekend and we're conditioned to go out and party and be out late and snack at night. So this might be the biggest eye-opening couple of days. At least it will be for me and Christian. So have a great night and I'll post this in the group and we'll see you again soon. Have a good night.